we're very fortunate to have with us today someone who is a vendor in this area. Uh, Rakesh is the um, president and CEO and founder of Snapstream Media. I, uh, I, I sort of did a, a, a brief little survey of the people in the industry I know, and it, the good news is everybody knows your company name, so your branding is working very well. Um, so I'm just going to uh, leave it up to him as to what he wants to tell us this morning about getting video to the web. <coughs> Oh, they want they want me to update my computer. Isn't that nice? I think, I think now is the right time. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's waiting. On it. So I'll turn it over to Rakesh. Thanks a lot. Uh, is everyone here a, a professor or an educator in in uh, broadcast journalism? Student. Student. Yeah, and students. Uh, okay, it's about 50-50, It seems. Okay, good. That's always nice to know who, who I'm talking to. So I'm the founder and CEO of Snapstream Media. We're a company that makes technology that lets people search inside of traditional television. So uh, people here probably search the web at least once a day, right, using uh, probably Google, but maybe Bing or, Mike or uh, Yahoo. So we, we make it possible for uh, organizations to search inside of traditional television. In a, in a way that's similar to the way that we all search the web. So we make it possible to search inside of CBS, NBC, ABC, C-SPAN, CNN, you name it, whatever might be broadcast on traditional television. Um, and I'm going to get to the end. I'll talk about how this uh, may be relevant to news on the web. Uh, we're, we're around a lot of customers who put their television on the web, but. Um, you know, a little bit more about our technology so you understand the perspective that we come at that question from. Um, what we make is a product that is a box, plugs into your TV feeds at your uh, university or at your TV station uh, uh, or, or government organization. Those are sort of the major places that use Snapstream. And then uh, we make it so you can schedule recordings, much like uh, you can with a DVR, except it's kind of a DVR on steroids. One of these systems can record up to 10 shows at a time, and they can be combined together to record in aggregate you know, as many channels as you want. And then you can search inside the recordings. You can type in a query, and it takes you to the place within the video where that mention occurs. Um, in this case, you see a little demo of Hurricane Ike recovery. And in addition to doing ad hoc searches, you can do searches based, uh, you can do alerts. So uh, how many people here use Google Alerts in some capacity? So this this uh, aspect of Snapstream is similar to that, but for traditional television. So you can have alerts pushed out to you daily, weekly, and there's also an as it happens feature, which, uh, which is an interesting, interesting thing that's used by a lot of local TV stations to do competitive intelligence. So for example, you see a, a sample query here. I wanted you all to see sort of you know, in the flesh what the search process looks like. There's a search on the words breaking news, and it's filtered by the channel number and we're, we're in Houston, so uh, KHOU, Channel 11, CBS affiliate is one of our customers, and their news director tracks any mention of the words breaking news on, uh, on, on our ABC affiliate, Channel 13. And so they have this alert set up, and it gets sent in real time to the news director's Blackberry, so they know when they say the words breaking news. And yeah, I see some people chuckling because, yeah, there are a lot of false positives. Um, <laughs> But you, you get an idea of the kind of uh, results that come back, and then if you click on one of those results, the video starts playing back from the place where that mention occurred. Here's another example. Um, we, have, we have a lot of TV shows that include news clips in your TV shows, like, uh, like Ease the Soup, The Daily Show, Colbert Report. And so, you know, a search they might do is a search on Fox News uh, being mentioned on comedy programs. So you can see all the places where Leno, Craig Ferguson, etc are talking about Fox News. So we have customers in these three different segments, government education and entertainment, um, all so, sort of different use cases. In education, the product's used a lot for content analysis and also to get TV easily into the classroom. Um, so to talk a little bit about how we're involved with news operations, we, we uh, are often used by TV stations as a way to get traditional news video onto the web. Though that's actually kind of an edge use case for our product. It's not sort of the, the main thing that people use it for. The TV search capability is sort of the primary 
driver for our software. And that's, you see that being used as a, as a source for research inside of newsrooms. It doesn't have to be a TV newsroom, it could be a, a print newsroom. But you know, using TV as a source for information. Uh, it's also used for competitive intelligence, as I mentioned. And, uh, and in a lot of, I would say like, you know, maybe I call them secondary news operations, people who, who sort of comment, or editorialize on news, it's used a lot for media criticism and analysis, such as, you know, ease the soup. In an academic setting, we have folks like the Projects, Project for Excellence in Journalism, who use it to monitor television and, and uh, sort of critique what happens on television. I was going to show everyone a short video. We have a few more minutes here, but I'm going to show a quick video showing how one TV show uses uh, used Snapstream to put together kind of a clever, a clever video. So just pull it up here. You know what? I'll uh, I'm going to skip that in the interest of time. So let's go back to the. Presentation here. So, um, so, we're, so we're around video a lot, and you know, let, so I'm going to try to explain what what I think are important characteristics uh, for video, news video online, and, and the starting point for that is what makes Snapstream useful. Uh, what makes it useful is that we make traditional television more web-like. The, the reason why people love Snapstream and it's useful to them is that they're able to search inside content. They're able to, in effect, copy and paste that content. We have built-in, really simple clipping features. And we make it possible within organizations for people to link to content. So if I find something, I can hit Control-C inside my video player and send that link to somebody else. And when they click the link, they're taken to that particular place within the video, as long as they have the Snapstream client installed on their desktop computer as well. So um, all, all of these things are things that we do every day on the web. And they're the means of distribution on the web. So you know the things that... Uh, we've seen be successful with our customers, not necessarily uh, you know, sort of driven out of our software because we don't, that's not the problem we aim to solve as a company, but we've seen people you know, do video news on the web very well. The Daily Show is a good example. And, uh, and, and the things that are really important as we've seen them are uh, to make content linkable. So URLs are important, making it so that your URLs don't change and that uh, there, there is a, a link that people can pass around to one another. Uh, along the same lines, it's really important to make videos embeddable. So the embeddability is sort of the equivalent uh, in, in the sort of printed, printed word, uh, it's video's equivalent of copy and paste. And, uh, and for both links and embeds, you get bonus points if videos can be linked by time code. So if, in a one minute video, you can actually send somebody to the 30 second mark or the, or the 45 second mark. And then finally, and I don't think this has really emerged as a you know, big consumer usage behavior, but I, I believe it will, and that is making the video searchable, uh, and not just searchable you know, at, the, uh, at the SEO level, where you're putting text accompanying the video that identifies what it is, but at the, at the uh, time code level, at the transcript level. So, uh, so these are these are sort of the things that we've seen uh, be successful for a lot of our customers who are putting uh, their news on the web, uh, and uh, and I think these are things that are really critical in the way that content gets distributed today. There's been some talk about content creation, but for distribution, if you're not doing these things, then you're you're really missing the full opportunity that internet video has to offer for your content. Thanks a lot.